you should know that in most cases you will not be allowed to use calculator in simplifying this because they want to see how good you are in indices. So we are going to apply some of the laws of indices to simplify this. We have the square root of 2 to the power of 31 plus 2 to the power of 34 divided by 2 to the power of 27 plus 2 to the power of 30. You can see all the bases are the same, 2, 2. All right, let us start by factorization. Um, I think the best way to factorize this is to bring the number with the least exponent. We have 31 and 34. 31 is smaller than 34. So we are going to bring 2 to the power of 31 outside. Then inside already it is gone. You take this, you divide by this. This will give us 1 plus. If you take this, you divide by this, you know you're just going to apply one of the laws of indices. You take a base, then you subtract the exponent 34 minus 31, which is equal to 30, right? This is 3. You divide by, you come down here. I think 2 to the power of 27 is smaller here, so we have 2 to the power of 27. Inside from the first time we have 1 left plus 2 to the power of 30 minus 27, which is 3, right? So this is 3. We have our square root. Alright, you can see these numbers are exactly the same, so you can just drag them out. What do we have left? We only have 2 to the power of 31 divided by 2 to the power of 27. You can still apply one of the laws of indices. You take a single base, which is 2. Then you subtract the exponents 31 minus uh, 27, which is equal to 4. Remember to bring the square root. And you know that square root can also be written in an exponential form. That number to the power of 1 divided by 2. So we are going to multiply 4 by 1 over 2. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of 4 divided by 2 because the square root is uh, a power of 1 over 2. And 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. So this gives us what? 2 to the power of 2, which can be simplified to 4. This means that the whole of this square root, if simplified, you're going to obtain 4 as the final answer. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.